This is Alex Bainbridge here for Green Left. I'm here outside Kangaroo Point. So 22 people have been released from uh, Kangaroo Point and another three have been released from uh, BIDA, the detention centre at uh, Pink and Bar near the, near the airport. Finally, some have been released into the community, sort of. People are being taken after you know, almost eight years in detention and put on bridging visas in the, in, the, in the community. Now effectively they're being dumped there. They get three weeks accommodation, limited income support you know, after that. They are not free, they will not have permanent residence. They will always have the fear that they can be picked up and put back into immigration detention. Um, but what it, what it means is that they've got, uh, they've got the right to work, but many of them you know, can't work. Many of them have not got the skills to work. Many of them have not even got the medical treatment that they, okay, that they were sent, to, get to, sent to, uh, to Australia to get in the first place. So while they are technically freed from the Kangaroo Point Hotel and in living in a community house somewhere in Brisbane, they have not got the permanent solution that the, every refugee needs. This campaign obviously needs to continue because there are still more refugees that are locked up here inside Kangaroo Point. There are more refugees locked up in uh, Melbourne, other parts of Australia and also on Manus and Nauru. So we've still got you know, around, around 70 Medivac refugees who are still going to be in detention after, after these releases and if we add on to that the people who have been brought from uh, Nauru uh, for medical treatment since the repeal of uh, Medivac legislation, then you can add a, about another another 40 people to that to that number. So there's still we've still got you know quite a big fight. There's still you know around uh, 90 people who are still in detention after these really after these people are freed who who also need to be released. Uh, the sickness that our society suffers from when it actually locks up innocent non-criminal people goes right back to mandatory detention of people who came by boat, when that in itself is no crime at all. Mandatory detention is a stain on the, uh, on the, on the fabric of Australian society. It's a completely unjust policy. We need to end mandatory detention, we need to end boat turnbacks. It is legal in our law, in immigration law, in international law, for a person who is being persecuted to cross any border to ask for protection from persecution. And really, none of these refugees would even have been uh, imprisoned at all had it not been for that policy. We need to insist that people who are found to be refugees in Australia get permanent, get permanent visas and get the support they need. For the people who are on bridging visas, they need to get you know, the, you know, full, the full suite of, of rights, not just the right to work, but the right to Centrelink, you know, the, right, you know, the right for Medicare, the right to be able to, you know, to live and work in the community while their claims are actually uh, being, being processed. We have failed and we will continue to fail until we do something about that legislation and repeal it. And I call on the opposition to make clear their position. It was wrong in 1992 and it is wrong today. Repeal that legislation. Promise to reform the Migration Act. When you think about it, all of these refugees have been locked up for at least seven years. And that is just time that is never going to be got back. That is an injustice that has been perpetrated against them. We need to end that injustice and make amends for it.